friends. I've got a new experiment for us to work on today. And for this experiment, you are going to need a Ziploc bag, a marker, and some water. I put my water in my cow pitcher again. So a few days ago, you might remember that Miss Audrey did an experiment where she made a cloud with shaving cream and she showed you how the rain can come through the cloud when it begins to get really full and heavy. That's part of the rain cycle. The rain falls down, it lands on the ground, and then it travels back up into the air and that's called evaporation. And when it gets up into the air, it goes back into the clouds and when it gets heavy enough, it rains again. That's the rain cycle. We are going to make a rain cycle in a bag. Let me show you. The first thing I want to do is decorate my bag to look a little bit like our earth, a little bit. I'm going to use my marker to make a little line at the bottom. That's going to be my water. And then I'm also going to give my earth a sun. Now, I only have a black marker today, but you can decorate your bag any way you want. And if you want your sun to be colorful, you can make it yellow or red or orange or even purple or green if you like. And I think I'm gonna add some nice fluffy clouds just because I like that idea. And I think I'll add one more thing, a little bit of a tree growing above my ground. So now that I'm done decorating my bag, I'm going to pour some water into the bottom. You might need somebody to help you with doing this part. I'm going to do it on my own, but it's okay to ask someone to hold the bag for you. Now you can probably see that I have added some blue food coloring to my water so you can really see that the water is down in there. If you have food coloring, you can add, add some to the water. You don't have to though. This will work just fine if you have plain water. And now I'm going to carefully close the top so none of that water can come out. Now, the next part is super important. You are going to go find a sunny window in your house and tape this to the window. Watch. So as you can see, I have taped my bag to the inside of a sunny window. So the next part of our experiment is to wait. Remember, when you're a scientist, sometimes you have to wait for your results. You wait for your experiment to be done. So we're gonna wait a little while. It might take a day. It might take just a few hours. We're gonna check back a few times and see what happens, okay? All right, I've waited for about an hour and you can see that the inside of my bag is starting to look a little foggy, a little cloudy. Okay, now I waited a little bit longer and my bag is looking much cloudier. Almost the whole bag is filled with fog. All right, boys and girls, I waited a little while longer and the water 
is coming back down. I don't know if you saw that at the beginning of my video, but it is beginning to rain in my bag. Just like with Miss Audrey's experiment, the water got heavy. There got to be a lot of it up there in my pretend clouds in my bag, and it began to rain. I hope you've all enjoyed learning about making a rain cycle in a bag, and I hope you try it at home too. And if you do, you can leave me a comment if you want and tell me how yours went. Bye friends, see you next time.